biomedical engineering and its interdisciplinary areas have actually evolved the way we used to think of medicine and drugs. Just imagine yourself walking to a medical store and asking for a drug that isn't actually a drug. Just imagine yourself thinking of medicine as very different than it as it today. Just imagine yourself having drugs that never enter your body. These are the drugs that you know today, just pills. How about drugs that don't have any interaction with the chemical fluids of your body? Two years back, I wanted to undertake a research project, but I was certainly not interested in autonomous robots or targeted IT applications, which do lead to technological advancement in some manner, but don't aid our current problems. Here are a few statistics that I came along. This pie graph tells me that around about 62% of Pakistani population suffers from some kind of psychological disorders. These psychological disorders can include depression, anxiety, insomnia, etc. Here's another pie graph. It tells me that like 34% Pakistanis suffer from, from muscular or back pain. Meanwhile, Pakistani people have been using oral medicines for these diseases, which have a number of side effects. Electrotherapy stimulation is a technique which can be used to cure anxiety, depression, and even muscular pain without any oral medicine entering your body. Such devices actually electrify us. They provide electrical signals to the painful parts of your body or the affected parts of your body. These affected parts can include your brain. If you have a problem of anxiety or depression, that is basically related to your brain. So if your brain is problematic, it can provide some electrical signals to it to make it feel better. Many of you might, have, might already be thinking that how is this practically possible? That can electrical signals really aid the human body? Yes, they can. Well, let's see how it works. Each and every part of your body is generating some signals. But uh, the power of these signals is like a million times less than a double A size battery. Now, these signals keep on changing with the different conditions and environment. For example, if you're happy, the signals will be different. If you're sad, the signals will be different. If you're in a good mood or you're enjoying yourself, the signals will be very different. So the environmental conditions lead to, the, to changing these signals in a really significant manner. So this leads us to this. So if you, if, if, if you have a healthy muscle, you'll have a signal which is pretty smooth. And if you have a painful muscle, you can see there. So, this concept is being used for the development of a number of electrotherapy stimulators by a number of international companies. But the, the problem with these electrotherapy stimulators is that they're based on unintelligent waveforms. They're not giving such waveforms which are actually fruitful for the, for the muscle or the brain, but they're just blindly providing waveforms. They are effective in, in, in some manner, but not as effective as can we have if we have some intelligent processing going on over there. So I decided to put something innovative into this. This statement, if you see, uh, can be regarded as the basic history of electrotherapy stimulation, that specific waveforms of microcurrent electric signals have a significant analgesic effect. Well, this is um, my contribution towards this. I have developed the FEMS algorithm, which I call it from my name and my partners who are with me. What it does is that it, it acquires signals from healthy muscles, and painful, painful muscles, and then compares them intelligently, processes something, and then generates a waveform which, when applied to, uh, to a, an, an affected muscle, will eventually make it work in such a manner that, is, that is, it is acting as a healthy muscle. Okay. So, this historical statement of electrotherapy stimulation, I have changed it in this manner that instead of specific, I have intelligently generated waveforms of micro, uh, microcurrent electric signals, which, which are generated via comparative referencing. Now, this comparative referencing refers to the fact that, uh, mu uh, that affected and healthy muscles are, uh, muscle, muscular signals are being compared. And now, instead of specific analgesic effect, they have a significant analgesic effect. Well, uh, in the end, I leave you with this thought that if we all different people from different disciplines of science, arts, begin contributing towards medical science in our own manners, we can develop something really very interesting.